Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church, so we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in and find a comfortable seat to hear the story of the road to Emmaus. Good morning and welcome to Home Sunday School. Your teachers sure miss seeing your smiling faces every week. We love you and we are praying for you and your families and we can still be together as we listen to God's word and as we love one another. We've moved from the season of Lent into the season of Easter. So our liturgical color has changed. It was purple in Lent and now in the season of Easter, the liturgical color is white as we celebrate Christ's resurrection. The Lord be with you and also with you. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your heart. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. <clears throat> Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing these words, we know that it's time to hear our story of God. And our story today is about Jesus on the road to Emmaus. This is the season of Easter, the time when we celebrate the great mystery that God made Jesus alive again. This is the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. On the same day that Mary Magdalene saw Jesus near the empty tomb, two of Jesus' friends were traveling on the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. They were very sad because, because Jesus had died and about everything that had happened in the last three days. They talked about all of these things. Why did Jesus have to die? They asked one another. And then someone came and walked with them, but they did not recognize him. What are you talking about, he asked them. And they told him about Jesus of Nazareth, that he was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all people, that they had hoped he would be the one to redeem Israel, but that the rulers had crucified him. They told him that Mary Magdalene and the other women had gone to the tomb just that morning, but Jesus' body wasn't there. We don't understand why Jesus had to die, they mourned. And as they walked, Jesus explained all that was in scripture concerning himself. They still did not recognize him, though. When they arrived at the house, the men said to him, Come and stay with us, for it is late in the evening. And they went into the house. 
and they shared a meal. And Jesus took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them. Now they recognized him. Their eyes were opened. Jesus was alive. He was risen from the dead. And then Jesus left. The two men looked at each other in amazement. Were not our hearts burning as we walked along the road and he opened the scriptures to us, they said? They were so happy that Jesus was alive that they had to go back and tell the other disciples. It is true, they cried. Jesus is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when Jesus died. I wonder what it was like to recognize that Jesus was the person there breaking the bread before them. I wonder if you've ever been close to bread like this and a table like this. I wonder how it feels to know that Jesus is alive. I wonder what it was like for the men to tell the others, to tell all of their friends and the disciples that Jesus was alive. And I wonder who you can tell that Jesus is alive. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the stories of God. The story that we heard today about Jesus on the road to Emmaus is in the New Testament in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. What are you discussing as you walk along together, he asked them. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he would be the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all of this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but they didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. And Jesus spoke to them about all of the prophets and Moses, and he explained to them what was said in all of the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he was going on further. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the 11 and those with them assembled together and saying, it is true, the Lord has risen, he is risen indeed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it's time to offer our prayers to God. Prayers of thanksgiving and joys. Also things that we are sad about or might be worried about. We can pray aloud. We can pray silently. God hears us no matter. Sometimes we pray with our words. Sometimes we pray with singing. Sometimes we pray within our hearts. And God is always with us, always listening to us always hears, hears us. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let's pray together. We thank you, God, for the sunshine today. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our pets who are keeping us company now. For all that brings us joy, God, we are grateful. We offer you our prayers of thanksgiving. Sometimes we're sad. Sometimes we are worried about things. We may have someone in our family that we know who is sick. We pray, Lord, for your presence with them to heal them. We pray for those within our church family who may be alone now. Pray, God, that your spirit would be with them, that they know they're not alone. And that you would lead us, God. Help us to remember to call them up and share a kind word, that we can be your hand and your voice here on earth. Thank you for that blessing. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places, all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and to spread the good news that Jesus is alive. Amen.